In this episode of Ricky Remembers, Ricky Remembers games that kids used to play in the street. Games that kids used to play in the street. In other words, larong kalye. Mga, mga laro na nilalaro ng mga bata noon sa kalye. I'm gonna do this episode in Filipino because this is about the games that we used to play in the streets, in the streets of Manila. So it'll come out better if I do this in Tagalog or in Filipino. Also, I'm, de- I'm gonna dedicate this episode to Mr. Mon Makutai. Mon Makutai. Kuya Mon! I call him Kuya Mon even though I'm much older than him. Mon Makutai. Even though I had this planned already as an episode, um, Mon Makutai suggested it uh, in one of the comments in Facebook that I do an episode about this. I had this scheduled but I was saving it for a different time. But since Mon Makutai suggested it and requested it, I'm gonna do it earlier. So today, Ricky remembers street games or games that kids used to play out in the street. And I am gonna start with number one, Pico. Pico, Pico was like our uh, Filipino version of hopscotch. So Pico, Pico, you had these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares that you draw on the sidewalk or on the street and uh, you had the pamato you throw it there and then you you skip it and then you go through the whole thing until mababahay mo na bawat nung, nung bawat square i-cross mo ng chok or nung uling uh, yung piko naalala ko ang kalaro ko sa piko nun, si Janice Nang it's Janice Nang or Janice Nang but when we were kids we, I called her Janice. Janice ang, ang pronunciation namin nung Janice or nung Janice. But it was Janice because we were kids and we were Filipino and we didn't care about pronunciation. So, I, you know, I lost track of uh, Janice Nang. Um, I think I lost touch with her when I was five years old. She moved. We were neighbors in this apartment. We used to live out there in Pasig and she moved. But she was my first best friend. And I played Pico with her all the time. So Pico was our version of hopscotch. And alam niyo ba kung anong pinakamagandang pamato para sa Pico? Yung balat ng pakwan. Pag uh, hiniwa mo yung pagkinain mo yung pakwan, di ba? Yung, yung balat na gano'n. Yun ang the best na pamato sa Pico. Kasi pag naglanding yun, talagang kakapit. So syempre kailangan asintado ka. Kailangan magaling ka magbato. Hindi, in, you know, hindi pwede, hindi ka marunong. And maglalanding siya dun sa square na gusto mo. Pero ang maganda nga dun sa pamato na balat ng pakwan, pag naglanding siya sa sa where you where you intend to to aim it, talagang magsistay siya doon, hindi siya gagalaw. Kasi a big part of Pico or hopscotch was making sure your pamato landed in the right square. So the first one is Pico. Number 2, of course, is Monkey Monkey Annabelle. Now I'm gonna probably I'm probably gonna make a mistake with this because I haven't done this in easily 37 or 38 years. There was a like a nursery rhyme or a rhyme that you used to to say to to determine who the taya was. So kung sino yung eliminate dun sa pagganun yon, it was a rotation. It's hard to explain. Um, and then you'll eliminate one of the one of your playmates, and he or she will be the taya. Or will be it. Okay, so monkey, monkey, Annabelle, how many the monkey did you see? And then based on how many there are, so let's just say there are five of you, you count it off. One, two, three, four, five. And a riki tiki tik and a blue black sheep. Ispel yes, Y E S, Ispel no, and O Alice. So wh- wherever it ends up, that's the one who's gonna be it. And who, when it's funny every time the moment you determine who the taya is or who the it is, magtatakbuan na yan. Magtatakbuan na lahat ng tao. Kasi nga, uh, sa Monkey Monkey Annabelle, pag na, na hawakan ka or nataya ka, you, you freeze in spot. Uh, or you freeze on the spot. And uh, until somebody touches you again or one of your teammates touches you again, you're stuck there. So the objective was for the taya to freeze everybody. Okay, tama ba yun? Tama yung ba yung Monkey Monkey Annabelle? Mamaya mali yung sinasabi ko Pero that's how I remember it Monkey Monkey Annabelle How many the monkey did you see? One, two, three uh, And a rikitikitik And a blue black sheep Ispel yes Y-E-S Ispel no N-O Alice And I 
got uh, teased so much when I was a child because my name's Ricky, right? So for the longest time, I was Ricky Tiki Tik or Ricky Tik. So that was my nickname or yun yung pangtukso sa akin noon. That's what other kids teased me with. Because sa, Anna, Anna, sa Monkey Monkey Annabel nga, meron yung Ricky Tiki Tik. So Ricky Tiki, for the longest time, I was Ricky Tiki Tik, Ricky Tik. Even now, even now my mom will call me Ricky Tik or, you know, people will still call me Ricky Tiki Tik or Ricky Tik. Because of Monkey Monkey Annabel, Monkey Monkey Annabel, I blame you. Okay, so Monkey Monkey Annabelle, and then after that, of course, we had Taguan, which is hide and seek. Uh, you you know you count off to ten, and then your your play mates hide. So we played, you, we played um, Taguan as well. And the other one I remember is Shato, Shato. Oh my God! So yung Shato, uh, you had a long stick and you had another shorter stick, and you prop it. Either you prop it uh, on top of two stones, no. You prop it in two stones and then you flip it like that. Or you try to uh, make it go as fast, as far away as you can with the other stick or with the longer stick. So you, 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 you fling the, the shorter stick with the longer stick. Uh, kung, kung gaano kalayo yung narating nung may clean stick, yung kalaban mo will have to hit the... You, so you put the longer stick back to those two stones and from how far it is... They will try to hit it. They will try to knock it off of the stones. Uh, so, kailangan malayu yung ano mo para hindi nila matamaan. So, hanggang matamaan nila three or two or three times, ganun ba yon? And then magpapalit kayo ng ng position. And may may, may part pa ng shato where uh, you prop it on one stone lang, one stone lang. You hit it, so it glo- goes it it uh, goes up into the air and then you try to hit it like a baseball uh, parang bonus round yun eh sa shato uh, viewers help me out with the mechanics of shato pero yun yung naaalala ko so you 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 fling it first as far as you can your opponent wherever the distance is will try to hit it x number of times and then pag natalo ka na you exchange positions so piko uh, Monkey Monkey Annabel, Taguan, and Shato. After that, we, this is gonna be a long episode. Uh, after that is Patintero. So Patintero, uh, I don't know if there's an American equivalent of Patintero. Hindi naman siya tag or habulan. Uh, Patintero is basically um, a team will guard, you know, they have lines on the road. So they will try to prevent the other team from crossing the lines and then they, once you've crossed all the lines you have to go back okay naalala ko noon yung patintero ang pang drawing namin nung linya kapag walang ano kapag walang uling o chok kukuha kami nung lata oh my god lata ng sardinas or lata ng maling or spam kukunin namin yung ano kukunin namin yung tubig sa kanal Yung tubig sa kanal, yun yung pang drawing namin ng linya para may linya kami pang patintero. So, you, you try to cross the, the, the lines that your opponents are guarding, right? Tapos, meron sa gitna yon ang tawag doon yung patotot. Patotot. Oh my God, I remember it so well. So, yung, yung, yung isa, pa left and right lang siya, pero yung patotot, pwede siyang across the, the board. Kumbaga, across the the whole rectangle pwede siyang tumawid-tawid. Yung iba hanggang dun lang sila sa simula. So, the objective was try to cross through everybody and then also go back. As the one cross trying to cross the lines, you, your objective was to be fast, no? Or either madi-distract mo sila so that your opo- your teammate can go through the lines. So, patinta. I'm doing a terrible job <laughs> explaining how these games are, but I remember it or I remember how to play it. Um and you ha- really have to demonstrate it. Mas maganda pag may demonstration. So, yun yung patintero. As I said, gagamit ka ng tubig galing sa kanal uh, or sa drainage. Yun yung pang drawing mo nung linya. Oh my God, that was so fun. We would play that uh, in the streets. Sometimes inaabot ng gabi. And sometimes the adults or the older kids would get into it and get it'll get really competitive. Um, so, that's patintero. The next one is tumbang preso. Tumbang preso naman... Merong lata, no? Either lata ng birch tree or lata ng klim or lata ng nido or bear brand, no? Merong taya. 
babantayan niya yung lata na yon. Ang objective nung lahat nung, nung kalaro mo, meron silang chinelas, ibabato nila dun sa lata. A lot of these games, apparently may batuhan. <laughs> Kailangan batuhin palagi. So, may lata na binabantayan nung, nung taya, kailangan ma-knock off mo yung, ano, yung lata out of the circle. So, ganun lang. Sitirahin mo lang yung lata hanggang makalabas siya. Tapos, yung taya, pag, masyad, pag nahulog na yung chinelas mo doon, kailangan y- kunin mo ulit yung chinelas mo. Pag nataya ka nung taya, you're out. Hindi ka na pwedeng sumali. So, parang ganun. So, yun yung tumbang preso. And after tumbang preso, you have... Chinese garter. Oh my god, Chinese garter. Yung Chinese garter, gagawa ka ng garter uh, made out of yung goma, yung goma na yun or rubber band. Uh, ela- elastic ko pa nga yung tawag doon eh. Yung rubber band na yun, nabibili yun sa palengke o sa talipapa, isang box, no? Kulay brown yun na may konting color. Uh, ididikit-dikit mo yun na parang tirintas or parang braid hanggang meron ka ng parang tali, no? And then, yung opposing team, and then yung kalaban, kailangan you, you hurdle over the Chinese garter with your feet. So, ang naalala ko pa, magsisimula muna sa paa. No, so, madali lang, gaganong ka lang, tapos na. Tapos, ilalag- the next one is the knee, or sa tuhod. So, medyo mas mataas ang konti. And then, bewang, and then shoulder, and then the top of the head. And then, this is the hardest, because you, you extend your... your arm all the way up and they have to jump that okay or they have to hurdle it using their feet so yung last one you'll have to do a you'll have to do a cartwheel para yung paa mo umabot syempre hindi aabot yun eh hindi ba so yung iba tatalong ka lang tapos y- yung the next one kailangan mataas ka tumalon or either magka cartwheel ka so that's Chinese garter and the next one is luksong baka luksong baka is, is like Chinese garter where you also have to jump but ang tatalunan mo ngayon is yung tao mismo so all you gotta do is position yourself like this so the first thing is you're all the way down to the floor and then it slowly goes up hanggang sa nakaganyan ka lang okay i don't know how i don't know how we did it where nobody broke their necks but somebody has to jump over the person so ricky remembers The games that kids used to play out on the streets or mga larong kalye na nilalaro namin nung bata sa Manila. We started with Piko. Uh, Piko, Monkey Monkey Annabelle, um, Shato, Patintero, Chinese Garter, and Luksong Baka. So there's more, there's more. Meron pang Langit Lupa, meron pang Agawan Base. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to get into Agawan base but we're out of time we're at 13 minutes Ricky remembers the street games Ricky remembers Pico Shato Patintero Tumbang Preso Chinese Garter and Luksong Baka and Monkey Monkey Annabelle my favorite oh my god Ricky Tiki Tik and this has been your episode of Ricky Remembers we're at episode number 21 already oh my god 21 episodes marami rami na rin yan I'm gonna keep doing this until I forget or I don't remember anymore. But this is episode number 21 of Ricky Remembers. Please don't forget to like the videos or to share the videos. But most importantly, and to comment, most importantly, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time there's a new video of Ricky Remembers. Again, I want to thank Mr. Mon Makutai. Kuya Mon! Uh, this episode is dedicated to you because you suggested it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mon Makutai is one of the best digital marketers in the Philippines and also the owner or co-founder or founder of abubot.ph. Check abubot.ph um, for any of your e for any of your funds. Uh, they sell, you know, abubot, yung mga maliliit na laruan, maliliit na games or any fun games. It's available at abubot.ph. Thank you, Mr. Mon Makutai. Thank you for suggesting that topic. See you again next time here at Ricky Remembers. Thank you.